This lesson covers the use of pesticides and herbicides in agriculture and how to identify when their use is necessary. For healthy growth, plants need these four elements. Sun, which is obviously difficult for farmers to control. Water, farmers can add more water in the form of irrigation. However, it is difficult to subtract water if it rains too much. Soils can be augmented through fertilizer and other inputs to manage nutrients and pH. Finally, farmers can provide other inputs to protect a crop from pests, weeds, and disease, such as pesticides. Pesticides are a management approach used to control various pests. Pests can include unwanted plants, which we call weeds, and the control is called an herbicide. Pests also include animals, such as slugs, insects, controlled with insecticides, and fungus with a fungicide. In the image are multiple types of pesticides that will control slugs and snails, fungus, or ants and spiders, for example. There's also pest control that does not come in a bottle. Ladybugs will control other types of insect pests in the garden. A dog or a cat may control rodents. Mites are very small insects difficult to see, that reduce plant health through feeding on the plant. You can see the evidence of these mites feeding by the holes in the leaf on this plant. Where insects have six legs, mites have eight. They're controlled using miticides, which are different from insecticides. There are a couple of ways to control insects. Mechanical control, removing them by hand and dropping them in a bucket of soapy water, for example, or using insecticides, or even natural predators. These techniques will vary based on the type of insect you're trying to control. An insecticide is effective in two ways. The insect has direct contact with the chemical, or chewing insects swallow the chemical. Traditional application approaches for pesticides include spraying from the ground level, and increasingly popular is spraying from the air. One disadvantage of spraying large areas using this equipment is drift of the chemical on a windy day. Drones are coming into wide use in precision agriculture. Drones can target very precise areas to spray pesticides only where they are needed instead of blanketing an entire field like you see in these images. Drones help farmers by using less of the pesticide, saving the farmer money and potentially producing less drift of the chemical. Herbicides control plants. They come in various forms, each of which does a very specific job. Non-selective herbicides kill all plants. Whatever it touches, it kills. Selective herbicides kill only certain plants. An example might be one that you use to rid your lawn of dandelions. The selective herbicide will kill broadleaf plants, such as dandelions, but will not kill your grass. Pre-emergence herbicides are used on the ground before plants emerge and will prevent the plants from coming up. Post-emergence herbicides kill plants after they are already growing. A farmer's goal is to increase and maximize crop yields, and they will use various inputs, such as pesticides, to help increase yields by protecting plants from pests. A soil test is the farmer's opportunity to place the correct type and amount of input on their fields. And if they are using drones with precision agriculture techniques, they can target specific locations in a field for placing precise amounts of those inputs. It's important to place the correct amount and type of input precisely on a field to avoid unintended environmental impacts such as pesticide drift into a neighboring field. Farming operations are increasingly data-driven through the use of drones and other precision agricultural equipment to help save costs by minimizing inputs while also maximizing yields.